How well can you stack your face? There are three levels of difficulty. Can you stack your face perfectly? Now, let me show you how to do the entire gain setup using Physic. So, at first, you want to insert a cube, right? So, one, you want to insert a cube and then you adjust the size. So, for our case, uh, basically, it's a rectangle. And what you want to do is to move over to the inspector panel and then you want to add a component on 3D Physic and you notice that in 3D Physic, there are different collider boxes, uh, 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 collider shapes. So one is box, one is sphere as a ball, and then there's a capsule, right? And a capsule. So uh, depending on the shape of the object that you are using, and for our case, it's a box collider. So I want to click on the box collider. So how do we know the collider is actually being applied to an object? So if you look at the scene panel, Right, you notice that there is a green items box here, right? So let me adjust this. You can see this green box here. And you can adjust the size of the box uh, according to the object. So if you are using the 3D model from Effect House, so every time when you apply a box collider, it kind of fits perfectly into the shape. But if you are importing an object from uh, Blender or whatever, Right, so you might want to adjust the size of the collider accordingly. And do note that every, uh, for this particular game on the stacking, right, when the other uh, two objects are stacking on top of each other, it is actually sitting on the box collider and not on the object itself. So this is the first thing that we want to do, alright, this is cube. And the next thing that we want to apply on top of the box collider is the rigid body, basically applying a gravity into the box and notice what happened right so let me refresh that so you see that the box kind of falls down because of the gravity right now let me set up a static here and try to refresh this <coughs> you notice that now the box uh, has stopped and then if you uncheck this box it goes down again so let me check this let me refresh this and let me move up the cube to a higher level now, in order to control the movement, let me start with a screen tab, right? You can use whatever trigger that you want, but when doing the, the creation, I like to use screen tab. So basically, this is screen tab. You want to call this out by clicking this little button here. You want to get the aesthetic, right? So here is what happened, right? If you uncheck the value and this is what happened, yeah? So you click, screen tap, it goes down, right? Now, and if you want to uh, control the movement, you can add in the wait for a second. Let's say wait for about one second, right? You want to reset the aesthetic, yeah? You want to reset the aesthetic back to static again, and you want to set the position to the original position and see what happens. Yeah, so you click and there you go. The next thing we want to do is to set a floor or uh, I call it the bar all the barriers or the boundaries. And you want to keep all the items within the screen because when you apply the uh, rigid body, it tends to fall off uh, and it goes forever. And if not, it bounces off the screen. Right, and I try to for our game effect, we want the face to stay within the boundary, right? And this is how we do this. Uh, so we want to add another cube, and this serve as a floor, right? I want to make it really big, right? So it's like twenty here, twenty here. So you see that there is a big floor hanging, right? Again, we want to apply a box collider here and see what happened as I click this. And you notice that now the box sits on top of the floor. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, we want to set the boundary. So apart from setting the floor, I would want to add uh, another layer, which I call it this, uh, the wall, right? The wall. And again, I expand this, I expand this, 
right i expand this and i expand this uh, i move this forward a little bit again i want to apply another box collider right so that it doesn't fall off the screen and notice what happened right if you move this forward here right so you you adjust the wall uh, according to your game specification so typically i will have one on the left one on the right one at the back and move the z axis uh, all the way uh, back to about minus 50 and then you want to have one in front of the screen typically i set it to about 20 plus 20 or plus 25 make sure that it bounces and then it bounces back uh, into the screen yeah coming up next on how to create the stack your face game on effect house right so let me get this out of the way notice now that they are stacking each other here is the file which you can download for free in the link it's extremely useful for game setup is so this is how we set up the game 